Hi Pisces, welcome to your week ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book your personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week this week you have the devil card. What is it that you are working on letting go of? What is it that you are ready to start phasing out of your life or what is it that you have yet to admit to yourself that you are trapped or held by? The devil card can show us where our choices have led to dysfunctional patterns. And the fact that you have this as your key to the week, there may be an energy this week where you're telling yourself that you can't do something when the truth of the matter is that you won't. Um, I know a lot of you are probably gonna be like, what, who the, is this me, like what? <laughs> um, and I say this out of all love, care and respect, but this week it's about acknowledging what your own destructive cycles and patterns are and doing whatever it is that it is gonna take for you to snap out of that. Uh, the devil card can, um, I mean, if it's surrounded by beneficial cards, it can talk about some, some good things, but uh, usually it shows up when we are telling ourselves that we can't quit something or we can't let something go or we can't phase it out. And very often, it's not necessarily that we can't, it's just that we're choosing not to. For your actions and options this week, you've got the Nine of Cups, all right, love this. So this is about you making your own healing a priority. What this is gonna rely on though this week, um, this is gonna be about you really admitting what your traumas and your triggers are. Uh, so this could be a week where you are pursuing your own healing in some way, shape or form. Maybe there's something in your life that this week you say to yourself, you know what, I'm ready to move beyond this or I'm ready to address this. I'm ready to heal this aspect of myself. And because you've got the devil card there, it's gonna make you tenacious, but it's gonna have to, um, what it's very likely gonna do is reveal to you what your traumas are and what your triggers are. And when you know those things about you, they have no more power over you. So this could be a really powerful week for self-knowledge, self-realization, self-actualization, and ultimately self-healing, right? This is really, really powerful. And it's lovely to see this Nine of Cups here because there's also a part of you that's saying, you know what, I'm not gonna rely on luck. I'm gonna rely on my action. I'm gonna know that, you know, me, myself and I can push me to where I need to be. Even if I have to get help or assistance with that, the decision is still led by me. For your communications and conversations, you've got the King of Pentacles. So, uh, this is very likely to be a Capricorn person, could feature for you this week. Um, I'm just smiling because there's one Pisces in particular who I know when, when she hears this, she may well scream. Um, but this week, a Capricorn person, very likely to be a Capricorn male, uh, but could be a Capricorn woman, uh, you know, or a Capricorn person. I'm just going to put it that way. Um, this, it could be that this week you're having some form of a conversation with a Capricorn person that either really... Um, sets you apart or sets you on a different path. This could be somebody that really highlights to you what your strengths are and how you can use or leverage those. And because it's in your communications and conversations, something about your work this week is picking up. This could be a promotion. It could be uh, maybe a person out there that is, you know, a mover and a shaker of some sort is talking about you. Somebody's putting you on and saying, actually, you know what, I've got the perfect person for that. Or, um, you know, I know somebody that does what it is that you're looking for and this person is amazing. Uh, I really, really like this for you. I don't know why, but I really do. Um, even with the, you know, with the devil card permeating everything. And the reason I say this is because it looks like this week you're ready to face everything head on right so this could be where you're highlighting to yourself maybe you do meet somebody this week and you know usually you get into your head about it and you're like oh you know it's not going to work because a b and c and so you never really try this week you could be going beyond that and saying actually you know what i'm going to go for this and the reason i'm going to go for it is to see 
you know, what it could be, you know, what it has the potential to be. So on, on the work front, this is, you know, you could be getting a promotion, you could be getting a shout out, you could be getting some sort of elevation. With the Nine of Cups there, you could be getting uh, some sort of recognition. Um, it's gonna be led by you, so that's really interesting and also very nice, which is cool. And for, uh, yeah, and then obviously for your personal life, we talked about that. For your money and materials, you have the Six of Pentacles. If there is money, financing, uh, maybe even a bonus uh, that you have been chasing after, you could very well be hearing about it this week. One thing that I will say to you though, is if you're being promised something on a financial level, just be sure that you have it in writing, because until you do, it's just words, right? <laughs> that's, that's me. Uh, I know that's a very harsh thing to say, but I, that's tends to be that, you know, that's my Aquarius sun showing its head. Um, you know, if I can't see it in black and white, it's just hot air. Um, so yeah, something for you to consider. Now, uh, when it comes to the money and the finances, it looks like there is an influx of money coming in this week. But because you've got that devil card there, um, I kind of feel like this week, rather than put it away or put it into something or invest it or save it, it looks like you're gonna to try to be frivolous with it. This is not the week to do that. If you get an, a sudden influx of money, finances, or uh, even some sort of earning potential, use it wisely, right? Put it into something that you're actually gonna be able to use at a later date. When it comes to your home and environment, it looks like you're not long for where you are. And it's funny because the closer we get to 2021, the more I keep seeing this as a signature. And I said this, 2021, we are going to see mass migrations. There's gonna be people moving across the world, across continents, uh, across towns. I just feel like 2021, is, you're gonna see a lot of people moving. Um, and you know, it looks like you're laying the foundations or certainly starting to figure out what it is that you're gonna need in order for that to be the case. So if I'm gonna move, you know, and where is it that I wanna go? And more importantly, what is it gonna take for me to be able to afford that? Well, whatever comes in this week financially may be something permanent enough for you to think about where that is gonna be. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, uh, it looks like your digestive system and your kidneys are the two things that you wanna be paying attention to this week. I'm not a medical professional, I can't give you that kind of advice, but uh, whether this is your diet sucks or you drink too much, these are things that you need to address. Um, and if you do so, the chances are you, you know, you, you'll be in much better stead. And then finally, for your love and relations, you've got the three of wands. So for those of you that are single, you could be meeting a Capricorn person, uh, whoever this person is. This is somebody that is very... Uh, either well-educated, somebody that's very intelligent, uh, maybe somebody that's very, very different to you or from a very different background to you, which is really exciting. Um, it could also be that you meet this person through work. Ooh, excuse me. Or through the course of your duties in some respect. And it could be as well that this person really, maybe even prompts you you know, like, or pokes you in the right way to start thinking bigger and broader than you currently are for your entire lifespan. Um, you know, for like your entire lifescape rather, not lifespan. Um, so that's really interesting and exciting. And for those of you that are partnered, um, this could be a business idea that you are going to a partner with. It could be you thinking about how you can excuse me, how you can streamline your duties, how you can um, Maybe how you can downsize your workload so that you can spend more time with your partner or so that you guys can spend more leisure time together. I really like this for you and it looks like something to do with travel is gonna be discussed this week. There's no concrete moves on it, but this week travel is definitely gonna be a feature of relationships and potential relationships. So uh, if you're meeting somebody and you're single, this could be you know the person maybe lives a, a bit of a commute away from you. If you are partnered, this could be you guys planning a trip in some respect. Either which way, this is gonna be a great week for you guys. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Take care, and I'll see you soon.